Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Video bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Audio bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full length CD listening parties. Download it free at winamp.com slash Android. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest writer Dick T. Bartolo. This is episode 1428, recorded August 6th, 2013. Water balls. The Gizwiz is brought to you by Audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audible.com slash gizwiz. And by Tonks Coffee. Tonks offers a bi-weekly subscription to the best coffee beans in the world. Sourcing them directly from growers, they're roasted and shipped within 24 hours to give you the best coffee you've ever had. For a free sample, visit tonks.org slash gizwiz. That's T-O-N-X dot org slash gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. One ringy dingy, two ringy dingy. It's time for Dick to show us his thingy. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and Leo Laporte on Twit TV. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! I give you the thrill guy. Oh, I'm sorry. The Carlos Danger Cam. We've renamed it. Yeah. Because <laughs> he has no use for the, his camera anymore. <laughs> that really is risky to call it the Carlos. You never know where it could go. <clears throat> Hello, Dickie D. Leo, how are you, pal? I am so wonderful. I wait a minute. My Google now seems to want something. Yes. Oh, it's time for the Gizwiz. <laughs> oh, wow! It, it knew. It, it knew. knew. It knew. So, how are you today, sir? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I Enjoying hear... something for the first time ever what? that I think <clears throat> Time Warner has done right. No. No yeah. more CBS. Well, oh no, no, no! That part is okay. okay. I mean, it's stupid. It, it's stupid. Oh, so crazy. Also, it's like nutty that CBS. If they rec if they see you on a Time Warner, uh, you can't tape? go to CBS.com and watch shows. Yeah, yeah. it's just just nutty. When dinosaurs fight, Dick, the best thing to do is just get out of the way. You don't want to get stepped on. These di yeah. these are old media dinosaurs and they just fight. Well, fortunately, it's a good time because I, I really like 60 Minutes. That's about all I watch on CBS and they're they're doing nothing but repeats right. for the summer. Yeah. Good time. And the newspapers are making a ton of money with them running full page ads just about every single day. <laughs> Both sides. Both sides. <sighs> yeah, one one after the other. Does, uh, yeah. does, uh, does Time Warner have a giant rat outside of the CBS BlackRock headquarters in New York? I haven't been over there yet, but it wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't surprise you know, me. People are probably wondering what I'm talking about. But the unions do this whenever they're picketing a hotel or whatever. They get a giant inflatable rat. I mean, giant. It's yes. huge. And they yes. put it in front. You know, rat. These guys are rats. Yeah. And it, it gets your eye. I mean, I don't know if people really understand what they're talking about. But well, it gets after your... I, yeah, right. I haven't seen it in a while because people would just go, oh, there's the rat. There's the you rat know, again. It didn't, it didn't get uh, any. <laughs> yeah, no. Now, yesterday I, I, I got something called, um, you probably already have this. Um, I have Time Warner Whole House DVR. No, but I, I have seen ads for something similar. We, we have Comcast and I don't think they've got that yet. But Oh, okay. So, so how does that work? You know, it's great because I mostly record movies in my office because I'm sitting here and I have a little monitor. Mostly, I mean, the monitor is just tuned to Turner Classic Movies. And every time I see a movie I like, I just hit record. Mm -hmm. But the problem is then if I want to watch it with Dennis, we both have to come to my office to watch it. Yeah, that's no so good. Right. Whole House DVR, if he records something, I record something or record something in the office, it's on everybody's DVR box. Wow. So, it's like they're using you, the internet or something. <laughs> no, they're actually using the cable. Oh, yeah. all right. <laughs> yeah. So they had it. It took them three and a half hours because originally no. they ran a. 
<laughs> Originally, they ran a separate cable for the front of the building. Oh. And uh, they had to connect those. I see. Anyway, yeah. so far, it's pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, you know, come on. If you watch something on Amazon.com on one TV and then you go to another TV, you can, you can pick right up where you left off. This is, oh, yeah. this is last minute trying to keep up with the Internet. Again, no, absolutely. Another and, well, case this is, of dinosaurs. This is, these you know, are fighting. things that I selected to record. Right. Right, yeah. right. Uh, you know, it's interesting because uh, my son wanted to watch old episodes of HBO, and we looked on Netflix, we looked on uh, the cable, you know, Comcast, because sometimes they have old episodes of shows. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nowhere to be found. You could buy it on Amazon was the only place. And I think HBO's strategy is to kind of make it as, you know, hard to get it for free as possible. And then, but they forget. Oh, you got it for free on Amazon? No, 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 no. It was a dollar, no, two ninety nine for an HD episode. 30 minutes, two ninety nine. Wow. What is that, like what? 10 bucks a minute? Yeah, you know what? We should start charging more for the gifts. <laughs> Obviously, we're, gi we're giving it away, folks. What's wrong yeah. with us? No, we, no, we were paying two ninety nine per episode for them to listen. So, yeah, yeah. we could, actually. And uh, still have a buck fifty left over for dinner. But that's another story entirely, because, ladies and gentlemen, there's one reason and one reason only Dick is here, and uh, that is for his yearly exam. No, no, no. That I'm is, sorry. That's <laughs> that's oh, that's what the lab job. coat's for. Yeah, that's okay. my side gig. Okay. But uh, never mind. We'll uh, we'll let you do a gadget. How about that? Well, okay. We're going to talk about gadgets. You know, it's August, so we're, we're talking thinking, talking and thinking back to school. So every year I try to find an unusual backpack. You know, we had the backpack with the built-in alarm. Yes. Uh, yes, exactly. Well, I found the backpack called the Cocoon mm. Slim Backpack. Mm. So now this can take a laptop up to 15 inches, a separate pocket for a tablet. But what's neat about this is... A separate compartment has a gridded system. Oh, this is like the iGrid. Yes, this is from that company. Oh, it is the so, iGrid. <laughs> well, you know, oh, this is so from cool. this, wait, this is this is from Grid It. So grid I'm it, not sure. Grid it. Good. No, no, no. Yeah, Andy Anaka was talking about this last week. This is really cool. Oh, okay, so now this is the first time they've built a grid it that is this big and wow. incorporated it into a backpack. And if if you're not watching the video version, it's a series of elastic straps of varying widths so that you can slide all your gadgets behind them. It's kind your of phone. it's kind of open. You can put any size gadget in there. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And what it is is now everything is in a vertical so plane cool. I love and you this. can see everything in your backpack as opposed to <laughs> throw in your backpack and everything settles down to the bottom and makes a big Oh, bolt. I hate it. I need this. Yeah. And you can even buy these panels uh, just by themselves to put in an existing backpack, but I think probably more convenient to have it in one. Yes, exactly. They well, they, they they make a they make uh, they make them for luggage so that you can yeah. uh, pack your things. When Andy showed this, I immediately went home and measured my luggage so I could order the right size one to slot in there. I mean, this is a So have you tried it? You know what I did? I, I put a, I, I have a very small laptop. I just have uh, the little Asa and I put in my 10 inch tablet. What's neat about it, and even and then I put my phone and all my cables and the grid it. And even with that, it's just three and a half inches wide. Wow. So it's very so cool. nicely designed. Uh, on there, I haven't found it on other places yet. It's eighty dollars on the company website, which is cocooninnovations.com, and it's called the Slim Backpack. I I just think this looks like such a good idea. Yeah, it is neat because because you're exactly right. You throw stuff. People should women could use this in their purse. Yeah, how many times have you seen a woman with a purse the size of you know this big, like of a hot tub, going oh, searching yeah, through yeah. it? And, but this is such a great idea. Myra carries a duffel bag. Yeah. I said, My you need one of these gridded things. <laughs> you need maybe two. <laughs> I know there's a lipstick in here somewhere. I put it here 40 years ago. <laughs> That's a, I love this. I, I so, yeah. But I haven't tried it. Andy likes it. And now you do. So I think I'm going to have to get this. I do, really yeah. Good. So it's yeah. water-resistant uh, nylon. The zip is all waterproof, so stuff will stay dry. It's, it's, it's really a very nicely uh, designed backpack. F. and Dunn says that uh, Walmart sells the small gridded grids. 
Oh, great. So great. for your grocery bag or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you put your banana in one, you put a grape in another. Yeah, perfect. It and takes it's a easy long to time check to out. Shop. You just yeah. fly it across exactly. the... Exactly. Just hold it up like that. Yeah, let's see. Grape. Lo Loquacious fish. says, the reason we carry big purses is because we have to carry the stuff men are too embarrassed to put to carry with them. We're carrying oh. stuff for you, you, our guys. That's not true. Yeah. When's now. the last time I asked you to carry a Tampax for me? No, never. Well, you did make me carry it out. <laughs> that was a context. <laughs> Please get it right. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, no, I, you know, I, I, I actually will often end up carrying Lisa's stuff in my pocket because she doesn't want to carry her wallet or her, uh, you know, uh, driver's license. And you know what I found? Have you seen the little pouches that you put on, that you glue to the back of the phones? Did, did you show me those? Who showed me those? No, no. The, the pocket ninjas. Did you glue it to the back? Well, of the it's phone? got a little adhesive, and it's a really great idea. At least is Lisa here? Because I could show you what. So you, you, it just goes on the back of your phone or your phone case, and it has right. a little stretchy mesh pocket, and is perfect for putting a couple of credit cards, a driver's license, some cash in. And I think for a lot of women who don't want to carry the purse, you know, because they're out clubbing or whatever, it's a perfect solution. Oh, okay, yeah. good, yeah, good. Um. Let's pause. Would you mind? No, I I I, I am in pause mode. <laughs> <laughs> While we're pausing, let me talk about Audible, then we'll get to gadget number two. How about that? Okay. Audible.com slash gizwiz. You know, uh, you can always tell that an advertiser, that Audible has been with one of the shows or other a long time because they have that short URL. You know, the newer shows, it's audiblepodcast.com. But when it's audible.com slash gizwiz, and it's only you and a couple other shows that have that, it means Audible's been a sponsor since the very, very beginning, and we're so happy to have them. In fact, I've been an Audible subscriber since before the beginning. I started subscribing to Audible books in 2000. I now have over 500 books in my library. It's one of the nice things about audio books from Audible. When you've downloaded them, when you bought them, they're yours forever, and you can get them at any time. The Audible app on Windows Phone, iPhone, Android devices on uh, Windows 8 is so cool because it shows you your whole library, every book you've ever purchased from Audible, and you can listen again. Books are one of those things where you, you know, it's, it's not unusual. I'll listen to a book that I love. Every few years, I'll go back and say, I'm rereading The Lord of the Rings, for instance, you know, because it's just, you know, every every 10 years, I want to read The Lord of the Rings. So many great books at audible.com, 100,000 titles, not just books, radio shows, comedy performances, even great lectures from the great courses. They have so much wonderful material. Never again will you have to... Oh, yeah, there you go. The Fellowship of the Ring, book one in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. It's only 19 hours. It feels like it's longer, doesn't it? You can get that absolutely free right now if you go to audible.com slash gizwiz. There's so many wonderful titles to listen to. Never again do you have to sit and commute traffic thinking, boy, I wish there was something better to listen to than, you know... 10, 10 wins, give us an hour and we'll give you the day, or, you know, the latest stupid sports talk. Well, there is. There's wonderful literature. Audible books are read by great actors, so it's almost like it comes to life. It's like it's actually like being at the movies. I think your imagination is far better than any set or costume designer. When I listen to Game of Thrones on Audible, it really comes alive. I want you to try it. You, not everybody's into audiobooks, I know, but I think you will be. That's why we want to give you a free book. Just pick... Your first book is kind of hard to do, I know. Uh, I've given you some good ideas. Uh, great science fiction. Ender's Game's come in the movie. Don't, whatever you do, don't see the movie until you've read the book. It has a great twist in it, and the movie will spoil the book for you. And I, I haven't seen the movie yet, and it looks pretty, pretty good, but, boy, you'd be... Don't you think, John, they should listen to the... And they have now a 20th anniversary edition narrated... Uh, there's got an introduction by Harlan Ellison and narrated by the great Stefan Rudnicki. He's one of their best readers I listened to this, and it just, it floored me. It was such a good book. Free! Audible.com slash gizwiz. Pick your book. Listen. It's a 30-day it's a thing. If you cancel any time in the first 30 days, you'll pay nothing. You do get to keep the book forever, but I have a feeling you'll want to stick around. Audible.com slash gizwiz, and we thank them for their support of the gizwiz since practically episode one. Uh, gadget number two, Dickie D. Oh, did gadget I show you, by the way, my Brando came that you talked about yesterday? Speaking of, or oh, last week. yeah. This is the uh, USB to go uh, stand. It doesn't work, unfortunately, with some of my phones like the uh, Moto X and the HTC One, but I got it for my Nexus 7, and it'll work fine with that. 
Let's no, see. it's great. Yeah, it's so and it's a it's a little stand, which is so cool. No, I like it. Yeah, I, like I know it. you told me about it. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm glad you like. It. Yeah, I'm really glad I got it. Was ten bucks. Gadget number two. Gadget number two. Keeping in the back to school theme, we have this week's Gizwiz video that contains two. Gadgets great for back to school. Let's watch. Nikki Bartolo Maz made us try to end the Gizwiz with another one take theater video here on Twit. You know, if you've been watching the Gizwiz, you know the name Jeff Needles. Uh, Jeff is <laughs> famous for building models. He built this, I have it written down here, the Star Wars. Destroyer, the Super Star Wars Destroyer, the Star Wars Death Star. I mean, these models cost, one was $400, one was $1.2 million, thousands of parts. Well, Jeff, guess what? What? I have built my own Star Wars model. This is the box. Mm. And... Mm. Ta-da! Mm. This is my... Model. <laughs> it is the Star Wars soft sided R two D two lunchbox. Ooh, actually, that would from be thermos. Actually, that's lunch great. Sack from thermos. Well, now this was easier to like build that. because it was just the one piece. <laughs> but I got it out of the box, and there was tape all over that box. Oh, I mean, Jeff wow. would have probably used a hatchet. I opened it with just a meat cleaver. Anyway, this is pretty neat. So this is the Star Wars R2-D2. I love that. It lights up, too. Oh, and sound effects. Insulated, but kids will love it because this is... <gasps> oh. Lights and sound effects. Oh, the teacher will love it when you do uh, that this class. This is out, and let me, I'm just looking over here. It's about $17 on Amazon. And... I have my lunch inside it. Oh, so delicious. I'm all set for back to school. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Okay, something. Uh, this is another neat one. Included. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty neat. Is their stainless steel vacuum insulated food jar. What robot is that? So this is very. <laughs> that, yes. So the cover. That is plummy. Is your soup bowl. <laughs> plummy. So I mean and the robot. built into what the heck? The top it's is a Spork? folding stainless steel oh, this is good. full size. We always mocked the kids spoon. that came to came to school with them like okay. that. Oh, so did you really? Oh, oh, come on. Thermos of course, I have my uh, spoon. Hey, give me my spoon back. Hey, hey, knock it off. Well, nowadays, kids would bring more techie things to school, hours. don't you think? And I think you should have a steak about, knife. That would keep the kids in line. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So two gadgets for... Perfect for security. Yeah. Just back to school is, is a good use for these. Paint, From get, Thermos, no, the R2-D2 license. Oh, yeah, give me back my R2-D2. Soft-sided, hey, insulated. You, Mom! With, it, with a carry handle. That's really a cool. Lunch pack. Yeah, that's good. Now, do you think little kids know who R2-D2 is, or is... Uh, you know, from television, I bet they do. Yeah, they don't sure. come together, so you buy them separately. So it's a great way to go back to school for the young kids. This is great for anybody going to work, carrying their soup. Or I love that, yeah. Anything. Uh, Again, don't to make keep a sixth grader Mads, carry that. Mads, Mattis, Dreider, and the Gizwiz with One Take Theater here on Twit. That's not too expensive. It does not come with a thermos or the candy. You know that Penny Candy is now 39 cents? <laughs> there it is. You know that actually Penny Candy is now a dollar. <laughs> Do you go in there and say, you have any Penny Candy? And they yeah, say, yeah, yeah, give me five yeah. bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. So kids uh, kids probably know who the Star Wars, yeah. Oh, I, mean, I think sure. so. Especially the little garbage can that walks. Yeah. yeah. That is a great deal. 17 bucks. I love that. And it's yeah. soft. So And it probably is insulating, right? It is insulated. 100% yeah. uh, PVC free. No, it's a great little item. Love great that. Item from really thermos. cool. And then the thermos is, uh, <laughs> the thermos is 24 bucks. Yeah, I know. It's it's way well. It's stainless steel and yeah. the the, uh, the built-in spoon is stainless. Do you stainless. have? I have a fascination with vacuum bottles and thermoses and stuff. Is it something you want to talk about on the air? <laughs> I just it's so cool. Like, but I but thermos, you know, thermos is fine. But um, like the Japanese stuff that's like beautiful. 
brush stainless and uh, it just feels like, you know, well, for I'll give you, you know, the when I was a kid, Thermos always had the glass liners, right? Yes, and they'd yes. always break. You know, you'd get home and it'd be broken inside. Um, but I like the, uh, the metal liner ones. And yeah, then the I doer. have a uh, scientific grade doer that I got from uh, the coffee uh, guy, you know, Funranium Labs, that is a, pure, a real vacuum. Because Thermos is, they don't pump the air out of those. There's just air in between. It's insulated. Yeah. But a vacuum is a much better insulator. And these are like scientific grade vacuums in them. It was very expensive. Um, and that uses and what, glass. And what do you carry in that? Anything you want to have either, and this is the this is why I'm fascinated okay. by it. Yes, okay. Either stay hot or stay cold. How does it know? Like, that's a miracle. It, it listens. <laughs> when you're making something, if you go, oh, this is hot, it goes, oh, that's it, that's it, hot. I'll keep this hot. By the way, I really got teased. Not, no, this is a scientific grain on a doer. He's not as thermos. What are you talking about? And they beat me up and they stole my doer. Oh, okay. Uh, and you're still <clears throat> carrying that grudge with you. Okay. Yeah, never. No, I don't know why, but I'm just, and I always buy the little, the Japanese, you know, those little thin Japanese thermoses with a little cup on the top. They're so beautiful, but I don't drink green tea. There's nothing really you can do with it, but they're just, be I think they're beautiful. No, I bought stuff that looks yeah. beautiful. We got yeah. uh, John a specialty lunchbox. Yeah, we. It, well, I was thinking of the Star Wars, but then we found the Pink Floyd lunchbox. Oh, and, perfect! Yeah, it comes with its own perfect. acid. It's great. <laughs> in a thermos, so <laughs> it thermos. lasts forever. <laughs> so that was gadget two. Let's do one more, and then we have yes, okay. we have another ad. You can start making my Tonks coffee if anybody's All interested. Right. <laughs> All right. All oh, right. We can we can play Bert's a little. Doing what the that, heck? Right? Yeah. Whoop, we can play a little what the heck okay. is that. Oh. Well, I can uh, tell at one end it looks like a USB uh, connector. Yeah, okay. Now, you, you're absolutely right. So I'll yeah. just tell you. There's a lot of uh, talk about this on the Rabbit internet. Rabbit TV. I don't know what that Rabbit is. Rabbit TV. Yeah, I didn't know what now, it was. I have a either. Chromecast. That's HDMI. This oh, is okay. not like that. Okay. Oh, well, you know, if you have the kind of money that one... <laughs> spent on Chromecast. I know, $35. So I really yeah, think yes. twice on that one. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I thought twice when I saw Rabbit TV in Bed Bath Beyond for $9.99. Really? It's that cheap? That's what it is. Hey, is Rabbit TV as seen on TV? It is. So that's why you know. <laughs> Talk about Inception. Good. Oh, wait a yeah. minute. It's not $10. It's $10 a year. Well, I can I can work with that. Or is that ten dollars yeah. an ear? No, no, a, a year. year. Okay, a year. yeah. So when you first buy it, yes, you get the little dongle and you get a year's worth of service. So on the internet, I'm reading it's a scam. Other people said it's it's okay for the money. You know, it what? says you this get access to five thousand TV and fifty thousand radio stations. Yes. Well, okay. It's a little misleading in this respect. It'll say like. You won't be bored at the airport because you can sit there and watch movies. Well, that's assuming you have a way to get on the internet at the airport. Oh, now, what, so what does this do? I mean, okay, I have so, the so, internet. So, uh, okay, so Leo, you plug it into your computer. A little screen comes up. Start an account, which you start. You don't, you don't enter a credit card or anything because you paid your $10. Then you say what you want movies, and it'll list thousands of movies. Dick, and these are all free internet that, broadcasts. Yes, I know they are. Dick, but if you had a browser, you could do this. Leo, they are all easily organized. You give this oh, to your father. What the hell's on that USB key? Nothing. Is it there anything on to, it? No. no. But it goes to their <laughs> website. It launches a website. Where you find every single... I I'm going to pay them $10 a year to launch their website? So you can type in, you want Leave it to Beaver. They'll find where it is. <laughs> yes, it's for free. Okay. I still <laughs> like it. You don't think your mom Dick, would you're find such a this sucker. good? Dick, Dick, this thing doesn't do anything. No, it it organizes <laughs> every single free thing you can find. All right, um, you know what, um, Myra, unpack that gift. <laughs> I don't want I'm, one. I'm sorry I bought two of them. No, no, there's, just... this is a whole, you know, if you Google free satellite TV, this is a massive scam. There's sites all over the place that will charge you money, and they will say 5,000 television stations, you know. But it's all 
Every one of them, free internet broadcasts of soccer Absolutely. games from Ecuador. Of, Absolutely. Of Mexican wrestling. It's not It's not ABC. It's definitely not CBS. It's, it's free internet broadcasts, right? That is correct. That is correct. Okay. But I think to have it organized is worth 10 bucks a year. Okay, good for you. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's over 50,000 free movies online. It does say access. Wait a minute. How could they do that to ABC, NBS? <laughs> and, oh, that's very funny. CBS. So ABC is probably the Australian broadcasting company. NBS is Nippon. <laughs> Does, well, you know, I wonder, is it really? Do, is it? You know what? No, if you go to ABC News, yeah. it, it'll say, come back soon for ABC live streaming. Yeah, I right. Think because ABC... When they're they stream some of their news, and that will be on there right. when they're it's, streaming. It, it's some. It's, it's okay. <laughs> it's not anything you couldn't do with your browser and the internet. No, right? no. If you had the time, absolutely. Time. Uh, there, you've heard of this thing called Google? Yeah, but I like everything organized in one place. <laughs> well, you just uh, instead of sitcoms. <laughs> what did uh, you okay. watch? La okay, leave it to Beaver. Let me just Google leave it to Beaver. Okay. And uh, and and so here's YouTube. Oh, uh, and, and what came up? It says, "Look at Rabbit TV," didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you must have. I'm sorry. You must have a Rabbit TV to watch. Leave it to Beaver. You see, I, I told now, you. Now, does <laughs> is some of that stuff uh, YouTube video? What is uh, what is it you, you know, get? You get uh, actually like some of the movies. It'll it'll bring the movie up on uh, Hulu. So it is just can it is just gathering and categorizing. He's he's hysterical. I can't believe ten dollars a year. It's so cheap. I still <laughs> I love it that uh, they give you a USB. Is your mother key. watching, that's, Mary? That's, Mary, call me up and tell me if you'd spend. Mary, I'll send you this. <laughs> that's, that's the that's the funny thing is that they're selling you this USB key. Have you looked at what's on the USB key? Is there anything on it? There doesn't need I, uh, to be. Yeah, my information probably, because if you plug it in any computer, it's an antenna. <laughs> <laughs> so you're clear though. It does not. It does require the internet. Right. Right. And you are not getting anything that you can't get for free. And you I understand <laughs> all that. And Google will find any of that stuff. You just Google it. Yeah. Yeah. It, so this is let's just, I just really want to be clear. You can go ahead and spend 10 bucks on this. I don't care. But it just that that actual USB key does absolutely nothing except give you access to the site. Yes. Yeah. That is correct. Okay. Yeah. In an orderly <laughs> fashion. Hey, Lisa, we, could Lisa. You, could you check if on my, on on my if it is, I want account. my $10. Lisa, on my expense account, can you cross out that thing, <laughs> Rabbit <laughs> TV? <laughs> Actually, Jeff Needle says that that was on the on the uh, spreadsheet of things that we were going to order for this reaction. For because he knew that the, what I would say is what the hell. Oh, that he says that now. He says that now. Uh, when is he leaving anyway? It ain't it ain't Aereo. It's not like no no no. no it's not no. No, they're not. giving you access to stuff that is already on the internet. But what they've done that's wonderful. <laughs> to me, according it. to Dick D. Bartolo, <laughs> is they've organized it and right. put it all on a little USB key. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And in quotes, it says, "Dick D. Bartolo says, I think it's worth it." Leo Laporte says, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> <laughs> now, seriously, um, do they say what's? Have you looked at what's? I'd be very curious what's on that key because you don't no, really I, need I, the key for anything, except that now I, you know, I bought something. Right. Well, you know. Uh, I'll I'll look at it after the show. Yeah. And by the way, and have you watched NBS? Do they have Seinfeld? <laughs> Cuz I love I have that not, show. I have not. I okay. I looked at the I I just wanted to see what ABC was and I on movies I know it went to Hulu. I I know what it does, but uh, to me, my my other works. suggestion uh, just yes. just to be dead serious here. Go ahead. Is Go ahead. probably a very bad idea to buy a USB key over the internet from a site that is essentially a scam site because they're they're not really uh, giving you anything because who knows what's on that USB key when you plug it in you know you 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 could be opening yourself up to all sorts of things
All right, I'll check it. I'll see what's on There's it. There's only four left in stock. Quick. <laughs> yeah, well, you see, that's going fast. I uh, Can we get one of these? Let me just order this. Would you just order that real quick? Because I really want to examine what's on the uh, Yeah, on it's the Prime. Key. Oh, it's Prime. And next week, you can make it your gadget of the week. <laughs> I will. We're going to order it. Because and Sonny right Boy now. Jeff will have left. Is it, didn't you say this is his last Gizwiz? <laughs> what do the reviews on Amazon say? Just out of curiosity. Oh, I, I put it right on my website. Oh, yeah? That out of 278, it got two and a half stars out of five. Well, that's actually better than I would have given it. Yeah. No, it's it's down the middle. I think this is very convenient. You can look at the best and the worst. Interesting. Wow. My in-depth TV review of Rabbit TV. It's basically a guide to watching TV and movies online. But I bet you that there's nothing actually on that USB key. Why, you know, it'd be smart not to put anything on that key. In fact, my hope is there is nothing attached to that key at all. Do you, just out of curiosity, if the key's not plugged in, can you, does it still work? No. No. So what happens? You plug that key in and what happens? Uh, it, it says, what's your password? And then it goes to the Rabbit TV website so you can start <laughs> uh, picking what you want to watch. So there may be some, it's conceivable there's some software on there. No, it's not. <laughs> it's just launching the site. Okay. <laughs> what is the Rabbit TV site? Can you just tell me that? Oh, yeah, it's just going to say, yeah, it, it's rabbittv.com. No, no, but the site that it goes to when it launches. Oh. Because that's going to be different. That's the Rabbit TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rabbittv.com is where they try to sell you this piece of crap. I mean, this fine thing, this fine dongle. Wait a second. Uh, let's see where it goes. I just plugged it in. I love it. It's free access to NBS. That is a riot. Yeah. Everyone's talking about it. Everybody So plug is. it in and tell me. It, I'm plugging it in. It probably has a long URL with a number in it that is the, the code from that key, I would guess. Now, why did this not come up here? Because it knows. Come on. I have so Anyway, I, it, I should... I just, it's it's fine if you like it, Dick. My strong recommendation is people stay well away from this unless they're really, uh, you know, I don't know. It's not so much the 10 yeah, bucks. Yeah, it goes to Rabbit TV, comma, IUD, and then a yeah, long it gives number. Yeah, it gives a number. That's the, yeah, yeah that's how it and knows then, that and it's then, you. And uh, then product you selection. Have a, you have, it's probably serialized. It has a number. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'd be a little bit nervous about uh, about using that. Okay. Too but easy I'm, to put malicious yeah. code on something like that. I'll put that down as a not buy. <laughs> well, you got it. Did they send it to you? Or did you actually buy it? No, I bought it at Bed Bath and Beyond. Bed Bath and <laughs> Beyond is selling this. Yeah. Wow. If it you go to members.rabbittv.go.com, right. yes, you get the login. Oh, so you don't need the key. <laughs> oh, what? But I paid ten dollars for it. I like the key. <laughs> Bookmark the it site. Ha it has the word rabbit in it. <laughs> Don't forget to log out when you leave Rabbit TV. If you forget to log out or lose your internet connection while using Rabbit TV, simply unplug your USB device, plug it back in, and log in again. Here it is, uh, John. R uh, members com will pull you up. The same thing that you get when you plug in the USB key. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it's good. <sighs> Our first fallout. It you happened. love it. Do you know you're seriously you love I mean, this? I, I don't I don't love it, but I think it's a good idea for people who don't want to go around the internet. Like I think Mary would like this. Yes. My I mom? Would, yes. <laughs> okay. No? no? Okay. <laughs> All right, Mary, we'll have a talk after the show. <laughs> I wouldn't let her go near it. Oh, okay. It's very okay. risky. It's very risky. Okay. Strongly, strongly suggest that you not do this, folks, because it's just too dangerous. Lisa, cancel that uh, ad contract. <laughs> uh, is that your third? It is, I believe, your third and is final gadget. Third? Now yeah, you can mock yeah. me. It's your turn to mock me. Yeah. Before you do, can I get a cup of coffee? 
No, I'd rather mock you first. <laughs> you can mock my coffee. <laughs> no, 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 we can't mock that coffee. No, never mock the tonks. Yeah. Wow. Do not mock the tonks. These it's is, unmockable. It's unmockable. This is a fine. Wow. Not only is it unmockable, it's empty. These are my fine tonks beans from Guatemala. Ah, oh, this is the Antigua Santa Clara. I just got my tonks box. Every two weeks I get a tonks box, but I keep it at home because I don't want to share it with these guys. Because you see what happens? They drink all my tonks. Tonks is a really great idea if you're a coffee connoisseur or you'd like to be one. Every other week, you get a tonks shipment. Now, tonks is a roaster. So what they do is they make deals with coffee uh, growers all over the world. And they're very smart. They follow the bean. Uh, they follow the sun to get the best bean, you know. Because, every, you know, the, the nice thing about the globe is it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's always harvest somewhere. So uh, they can go around the globe. They go to single-family farms. They pick the best beans, ship them back to their location, roast them. By the way, very important. Uh, because they do this, these are very fresh beans. It's not unusual if you buy beans at the grocery store. Those beans might have been sitting on a loading dock for six months, then on a boat that took another three months to get to the U.S., then to a roaster. Who knows how long it sat there. These are not fresh beans much of the time. And in fact, sometimes they can even be moldy and old and sometimes even dangerous to you. You really want the freshest beans possible. And that's what Tonks guarantees. Fresh beans, fresh roasted, shipped to you within 24 hours of roasting, which means you're going to get these beans within 72 hours of roasting. And that's actually exactly what you want. You don't want to uh, make coffee out of a freshly roasted bean. You want it exactly 72 hours later. Some of the carbon dioxide breathes off, and it just becomes a wonderful, perfect brew. And because it's a single bean, you can say, wow, oh, it's like uh, wine. You don't want to have a blend. You want to taste the bean. The Guatemala. Let me taste the Guatemala and Antigua Santa Clara. It has a unique... A very, oh, it's wonderful. And what happens, and they'll talk about the, the notes and the flavor. But, you know, it's not, it's not, I don't want to make you think like, oh, it's too hoity-toity. It's not. It's really about enjoying great coffee, learning about coffee, loving your cup of coffee every morning. But you don't have to take my word for it. Just go to tonks, T-O-N-X dot org slash gizwiz. Get that free sampler, and they can fill you in on all the details about it. You brew it. You grind it. So I suggest getting a good grinder. It doesn't have to be expensive. They have, their, they have suggestions for inexpensive but very good grinders. I think you're going to love it. T-O-N-X. Tonks. T-O-N-X dot org slash Gizwiz. We thank them so much for supporting the Gizwiz and for <laughs> giving me a great cup of coffee every morning. I'm happy about this. Mmm. All right, let me clear the electronics away. Yes. Do you make yes. sure if you have that uh, rabbit TV, you put that away, too. We wouldn't want it to oh, rust. Oh, uh, yeah, take it away. <clears throat> Unplug it Unplug and it. sign out. <laughs> because, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for my gadget of the week. First, let's start with the hat. Um, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting gizwizzes. All right, we're going to put the hat on. Yeah. This is so I can go into... The camouflaged Gizwiz blind, wow. so that the wild Gizwiz will not see me. Uh, I guess the white lab coat might be a giveaway. This is another great Jeffrey Needles product, Splash Attack. Wet, load, shoot, then splash. You showed the Super Soaker the other day. Yeah, the problem I did. with the Super Soaker, of course, is it's shooting water. What you really need to do is shoot a projectile loaded with water. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put on my special safety goggles and my you mean special like water water bullets. Yes, <laughs> they're little sponges. Here, bring the uh, bring the, uh, the 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 loads over here. We want to show them. No, no, no. I'm already loaded, but the the, the fresh loads in the. Uh... So what we do? Oh, this, just bring me the, the that thing. Yeah, it's empty. Does this come with it? Okay. <laughs> So you got to have something of your own to uh, to put the water in. And then you put the... Hey! I'm doing... Oh, you put the safety on. What do I have to cock it? Oh, God. That's what she said last night. All right. Here we go. I'm going to cock it. Yeah. Uh-huh. You mean... And I'm going to shoot you, Jeff. I'm going to shoot you in the eye. 
These are little wet... Uh, are you hitting me? <laughs> I'm not feeling a thing here. These are little wet uh, soft sponges. Now, how far do they go? If I tried to shoot Lisa, would it get her? Yeah, it got her. <laughs> Ow! That hurt, you little... Twerp. <laughs> this is actually, it's kind of fun because unlike the, <laughs> did you see that? Spoosh. Unlike the super no, soaker, you really, no. yeah. She it, went on the death so we can see it hit. All right, let's, uh, let's do one right here. Ow! You got me in the mouth. All right, right there. Oh, they're just throwing You ready? Stuff. You got the close up? Go to the overhead shot here. Do the overhead shot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so there you go. It's loads of... Ow! It actually, it doesn't hurt badly, but you feel it. You feel it. And they do, and they do give you... Shoot one on the wood so we can see... The sea? Well, let me clean up a little yeah. bit here. Because I got coffee everywhere. <laughs> Here, here, clean up, Leo, he says. All right, let's just put the... Oh, there's my clipboard. There's your clipboard. It's covered in coffee. No, not on the equipment. Not on the equipment? Oh, probably a good, bad idea, huh? I put it in the in the bowl. Here. <laughs> All right, here. Yeah, thank you. Now you see why I wore the lab coat. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only thing that didn't get wet. <laughs> he couldn't seem to hit me. All right, we're all clean now. So okay. let me uh, let me get the gun. Eh, there's coffee on the floor. Big deal. So these little, I'll show you the little sponges. Yeah, they're not I just very want big. To see what it looks yeah, like they're just little. Um, they're little pellet, little pellets like about that size. Okay. And uh, and they they're sponges. Okay. So they they uh, they soak up water. So what you're supposed to do is put them in so water you throw and let them, them in soak. a bowl of water. Yeah. And then you do what? Oh, you fill the tube and put the tube in water because it's easier to load it uh, when, they're, when they're dry. Where did I put my gun? Oh, you took it, did you? <laughs> hey! No, my, okay, we got two left. So you take this tube and you soak it. Oh, oh I, okay. How right does the water in the get gun. in the tube? You take the ends off? Both ends come, Both ends come off. You fill it with water, you close it off. And then here, we'll do a close-up uh, again of the table and I'll shoot. Yeah, Just, just so uh, you see what it looks like. Exactly, I'll and how shoot much the water table. comes out. Okay. Ready? In slow motion. Super slow motion. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. That was real good. Wow. This is hours of fun. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just shoot my hand. <laughs> oh, we need the slow-mo camera, huh? Wait a minute. I, don't, right, I think right. it was pretty slow the way it was. All right, we're going to do this. <laughs> we're going to do the slow-mo camera. I got to put the slow. You got you got it loaded there, Jeff? No, it's, they're, they're too dry. Do you want me to shoot it? They're too dry. Well, yeah. where's the bucket of water? All right, well. How much is that? I think, Jeff, you just should go back to college because you're not done yet. How much is how much is the eight dollars, ladies and gentlemen? They're on Amazon. They're called. And what's it called? Splash Attack. Is that right? There it is. The Palco from P A L C O Splash Attack Sponge Water Ball Shooter. I have to say, we've had a lot of fun with this. Now, there's pros and cons. The nice thing about the Super Squirter Super Soaker that you had last week is, you know, you fill it up. And it's done. But it makes, I mean, it makes a mess. There's water everywhere. Um, this is a little bit more discreet. The ball hits you. It's wet. You know you got hit by wet. And you feel it. There's a little sting. It's like somewhere between a paintball and getting squirted by a squirt gun. So it's okay. kind of fun. And uh, the, the negative is, of course, is you only get, what do you, would you say, about 10, 10 pellets in there. So you can only, you got to load it. And that, that's always, a, you know, annoying. But it's fun. Okay. It's fun. Okay. Yeah. And, and you, don't re you don't use the pellets again? Oh, yeah. If you could find them. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, Ozzy has eaten most of them now. So, <laughs> here, here, here. We're gonna, wait, wait, wait. Let me get my slow motion camera again. We're going to do a slow motion video. This is only quarter speed. I don't know if it's going to uh, be slow enough, but we'll we'll uh, we'll do it. All right. Let me turn on the slow mo video. Huh? It's dripping. It's dripping. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me hold on. Okay. In in three, two, go. 
That bounced pretty good. All right, now we're just going to have to wait while this uploads to Google, and I'll be able to show you in about 10 minutes. Wow. <laughs> Let me see if it actually... Splash Can you attack. see it? Uh, it's pretty quick. It's so fast, I don't even think this isn't in slow motion enough. Splash attack, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. There you have it. That's my pick. Ow! <laughs> it hit, when it hits you, it, it, it hits you. Ow! On the nipple. Come on, Jeff. Oh, wait a minute. Where's my where's my helmet? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Splashattack.com. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is very handy. Everyone should have one of these yeah, if you're going to play is this good. game. Yeah, Yeah. How much extra is the helmet? <laughs> now, 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 ladies and gentlemen, it's time to put down your Splash Attack guns. To put aside your rabbit TV and to start talking into bowls because it makes your voice sound so good. Yes, we're going for a trip. A little walk down memory lane to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy when gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Mm -hmm. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Dick D. Bartolo, your and major D and host at the Gadget Warehouse. And as the host of the Gadget Warehouse, I want to welcome another viewer's video. All right, Dick. And this is from uh, Stephen Sockhos. Otherwise known as Bob McBob. <laughs> Hi, Dick and Leo. My name is Steven, or Bob McBob in chat. And today I'd like to show you something pretty interesting in my gadget warehouse. Now, this is a gadget that I inherited from my grandfather. Whoa. So I haven't had it for too long. Wow. But I remember playing with it as a child on my grandfather's desk. And I'm glad to own it now. It is a Texas Instruments TI-1265 electronic calculator with memory cool now this calculator harkens with back memory. to a time long Ooh. long ago 1977 yeah the ti 1200 series of calculators were designed to be as ultra portable and as inexpensive as possible this particular model measures just under six inches long two and three quarters of an inch wide and an ultra slim pocket friendly inch Ooh. and a half thick it uses a single 9-volt battery, but as you can see, it also has an optional AC adapter, which I unfortunately do not have. Oh. Now, there are a few things that make the TI-1265 calculator a little unique for the 1200 series. Now, the first thing that's unique is the blue-green vacuum fluorescent display. This was considered an upgrade over the previous TI-1200 series due to the fact that it uses a lot less power and therefore it gives you an estimated 20% more battery life or about an hour and a half more power off of that 9 volt battery. The second unique thing about this calculator is the TI-1265 features Texas Instruments very first single chip processor. Now what's unique about that is it's taken the complexity of several different chips running the display, the actual calculations, a small little bit of memory to store functions, and integrates it into a single system on a chip, much like our cell phones and other gadgets that we use today. This allowed Texas Instruments to bring the price of this calculator down below the sub-$25 mark. Now, these are $25 back in 1977, which equates to about $110 today in 2013 dollars. Now, as for features that were not as unique, it features an eight-digit display. You had the ability to store numbers and recall them, the ability to calculate both positive and negative numbers, Ooh. and the ability to calculate percentage. Of course, there's one more feature no of this calculator no. <laughs> that I think is the best and most important, that every time I see and or use it, I think back to spending Grandpa. time with my grandfather. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, that's I hope sweet. that someday maybe I can pass off a gizmo or a gadget to my grandchildren. And hey, they may even get featured on an episode of the Giz Whiz as well. Ah! 
<laughs> Thank you again, Leo and Dick, for featuring my item in the Gadget Warehouse. Have a great rest of the show. That is, in fact, episode 4,454. Yeah, exactly. Do you think we've been doing the show too long? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just lost a little a weight. I think I'm looking pretty show. good. You know, a little, a little bony, yeah, maybe. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Bob McBob. Go ahead. Is he said, oh, that was the end of the video. Anyway, was that was Bob yeah. McBob uh, in good. IRC. How much did he say that was? Uh, it was, I think, he, I think he said it was twenty one ninety five, which is equal to a hundred dollar plus in twenty thirteen money. That is not bad, yeah. really. I there mean, I remember is. when uh, Bob McBob's in the chat room. Twenty five dollars in nineteen seventy seven. Yeah. I remember, you know, that that was the year I would have graduated from college. That's roughly my my era. And I remember the first calculators I saw, and they were much more, you know, the early HP calculators and so forth. So that was a big deal. No, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So Bob McBob, something new, you're going to get a piece of crap. <laughs> oh, what is, what is he going to get? Uh, is it possible he's going to get a ball. water gun? Oh. No, just one of the bullets. Just one. Just one Actually, we bullets. think Jeff Needles believes that he is going to get the light-up shoelaces. One of them. To take with him as a going-away gift? Yeah, not for two shoes. Just one. <laughs> Just one. Just yeah. one. we gotta set, We got to spread it, spread this stuff out. we got oh, a yeah, lot of absolutely. people sending movies in now. Why don't we give you a whole Twit gift pack in addition yeah, so to the shoelace? Yeah, you get a 35-year-old Alfred E. Newman signed autograph picture and some crap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I autograph a picture. Oh, uh, this is good. Yeah. This is so good. We, we, you know, some stickers maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And a penny. So if you want to send in your video, we're looking for I Invented This, My Gadget Warehouse, uh, which is great that we just saw where you have a gadget that you don't want to part with, my favorite gadget of all time, and just post it on YouTube and send Jason the link at gizwiz at twit.tv, and hopefully your video will show up here. And you'll get unwanted crap <laughs> in return. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a letter to the whiz. Here's a story about a Gizwiz theme song. With the shows to go from five days down to one. From brand new weeks to the Gadget Warehouse Friday. They all had to go. Did you play a long one? Okay, so it's not a letters theme, but do we care? <laughs> yes, it was like 30 seconds of exercise. Oh, no, it was good. It was good. So, uh, uh, so Mr. Dick DiBartolo, what is our letter? A uh, letter comes from Bob Harris, who writes, Dick, I know that you and Leo are no longer doing Sky Mall stuff. Yeah, thank God. But I do think you will like the following dog toy Ooh. from Sky Mall. Mm. And, John, do you have that link? I emailed you. <laughs> yeah, he's he's looking. He's looking. Oh, Jason he's Howell has a day off. That's why John Slania, the great John Slania, is uh, producing and running the board today. Uh, da -da -da. Da -da 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 Jason said he's... <laughs> Forwarded it to you earlier today. This is where we pause briefly and there it is. What is it? What the hell is that? It's a mustache for a dog. Yeah, it's a it's like a rawhide mustache. You got to have a talented dog who's going to hold on to this. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, of course, you know the, it would also be useful if you see the dog eating the mustache. Say, no, Ozzy. How many times have I told you not to eat the postman or something like that? Or the Gizwiz. Or the Gizwiz. Or the Gizwiz. Yeah. Yes. And John, if, if you go back to that page and off to the side, oh, <laughs> that yeah, this one is, I like. The yeah, the, the tongue. The humonga. I gotta get that. Dog Is that dog. rubber or rawhide? It, I think it's rubber. 
So that would last for a good long time. Yeah, yeah. And it's got like a ball attached at the end. That I did have. But ah. Fairway, Fairway said, I will look ridiculous. You know, it'd be really. That's the only time she spoke. <laughs> that's a giant dog that. that's doing that. And I think if I did that with uh, Ozzy. Oh, Ozzy would fall forward. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have, like, to, you'd have to Velcro his back feet to the floor. No, that's that not going to That is awesome. Work. Wow, I want there that. There you go. There you go. Oh, my God, I want that. Okay, I'm buying that. Okay. So, Finally, Bob Harris. something to scramble. Bob Harris. You Thank made you, a Bob. hit. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, is your last Gizwiz Jeff uh, Needles? It, yeah, just say yes. Is this last twit is Sunday, right? Come here. Come here, young Jeff Needles. He says he might be here next week, but if you're not. Pardon me? He has a flight at 10 p.m. next Tuesday that he's going to leave us for good. So he's been great all summer long. He started as an intern here in the in uh, January, right? Yeah, and, uh, and became CEO in. He's uh, been with running July. the company since uh, since uh, April. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty much uh, uh, filling the the vacuum of leadership that I left when I decided I wanted to become a long distance runner. Yeah, and uh, that's been a and very a arduous technician. Yes, an arduous uh, road. But uh, thank goodness we had somebody who could fill in. Those big shoes. Jeff Needles Jeff, is going did back. did you leave a lot of crap for yes. future episodes? Yes, he left us a okay. lot of crap. Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> Jeff is uh, going to be go back to be a senior at Northeastern University. We're studying business administration. Is that your business? business. Uh, and uh, then we've invited him back to actually run the company after he uh, oh, graduates. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. Okay, good. Yeah, good. he'll be signing all the checks soon. So thank you, Jeff. You did a great job. Oh, Jeff, my really, best really friend. really appreciate it. Isn't he great? Did you, ever, yeah. did you ever meet him? Did you get a chance to meet him when you were out here? Not no, I. No, I no. didn't. Uh, no, no. But he's but he's nearby. He's in Boston. He might come up and say hi. He oh, could good. be okay. next. You know, in two weeks he could be sitting right next to Myra Joyce. Uh, far over because Myra Joyce doesn't give up her seat. She doesn't want to share the snacks. That's the truth. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's true. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. Really great job. He okay, really Jeff, has been thank a, you. a great uh, boy. An intern who uh, you know really rose through the ranks, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a he's, rank intern. He's been responsible for cleaning the lab coats, and what a good job! Don't oh, you think? Oh, nice, very beautiful, nice. clean white. Oh, lab it's coat. unbelievable, <laughs> and the table looks good too. I know he's going to be really up. hard to replace. <laughs> Except maybe by that man who just walked by the window. <laughs> hey, Dick, I'm sorry about the rabbit TV, but I, oh, I, I just, okay. uh, I just had to oh. tell it. I like, I saw it. No, oh, absolutely. What are you kidding? This is a show of give and take. Mostly you give, and I have to take it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I give, you take. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, forget the what the heck is it? Oh, Gizwiz. Here, we're, we'll, we'll pay you back. Go to Gizwiz.biz, oh, okay. where uh, you could guess what the heck. This unusual-looking guitar pick set is. If you get it right, you have a chance at 12 autograph copies, one of 12 autograph copies of Mad Magazine. If you get it wrong, but you're clever, you have a chance at one of 24 autograph copies of Mad Magazine. Yes. So go yes. for the clever wrong answer if you want the best chance to win. Uh, and, of course, while you're there, there's notes uh, on the webpage uh, talking about all the stuff Dick talks about and giving you a schedule of appearances on World News Now and other places, so... It's definitely worth a visit. Do you, and do you, even the stuff that Leo shows. <laughs> you still have the Gizwiz uh, junk and stuff like that you're selling. Oh, yeah, I still have the hats and the book and Good. all the crap. Yeah, All that stuff. <laughs> all that. And Giz all that crap. Gizwiz dot biz. Thank you, Dickie D. I'll see you. That's my next. line. I'll be here.